right, print fam, it is Wednesday. I got an order for 600 black and white copies that will be turned into pads. So I'm gonna get those printed. I do need to order a padder, some padding compound, and some chipboard. Initially, I was gonna print on 11 by 17s, cut them down um, on the Duplo to save some money, but in reality, it's gonna save me a penny a piece. So I don't think it's worth using the Duplo to save that money. So I'm just gonna print them on 11 or eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna show you how I turn on the printer and get the job in there. Just so you can see, it might not necessarily apply to what you're doing or how you're doing it, but people keep asking to see more production. So I thought I would show you how it works. Plus it'll be good to be able to send the video to my wife so I can have her turn it on while I'm at the day job. So don't wanna leave it on when it's not in use because I don't wanna pay the power bill. So let's get going. This is the printer as you saw. This is what is called the large capacity tray, so LCT. So it's got big stacks of paper, or could have big stacks of paper. This is the main printer unit, and then this is the finisher. So to turn the printer on, first thing you do is open this primary door. This has all the consumables in it, and turn on the power switch. So now that the printer is turning on, we come over here to the fiery and push the power button. The fiery takes like five minutes to turn on and it will come up and say that it's initializing. Right now it looks like it's just blink. There we go. So it'll come up and say that it's initializing. Once that's done initializing, then everything is ready to go. The printer is already on, so it's ready to go. But it's just waiting for the fiery that sends the jobs from the computer. So now I'll go into the office and set up the print job. All right, so this is called the command workstation. It's the tool that comes with the fiery. I'm still waiting for the impose part of the fiery so that I can automatically lay out business cards, postcards, and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do, this is the job that I need to print 600 copies of. So I'm just gonna import it here to the Fiery. So this is transferring the job to that box that is up on the printer. And then I can double click on this job and it's gonna bring up the properties window. So this is where I can set up everything that I need to do. So I need to print 100 copies. The first thing I'm gonna do is just print one to make sure that I like it. I'm gonna to go to media. I'm gonna select not from the catalog because I don't have it. This is going to be a paperweight one. It's plain paper. It's letter size. So it's gonna automatically select. I think I also have just eight and a half by 11 as a choice. Nope, I don't. So letter size. I can tell it auto select or I could come in and manually say that I want it to come from tray one, which has the eight and a half by 11 paper. I can tell it if I have a slip sheet, which I have no idea what that is. And then I have the layout. So this is where I can turn duplexing on or off. I can override the orientation, change the scale, change like the pages per sheet. If I was doing like a booklet, that allows me to set that up here. This is where I can set the color. So in this case, I'm doing a grayscale. I can come and change the settings if I wanted to. Here I can come change the graphics. So I'm gonna say that I want it to be best and I can change it from dot, fine text, fine graphic, etc. So I'm gonna leave it at 200 fine text. Change it to image quality best. And that should be about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click print. And a single copy. Oh, finishing, I do not want it to collate. 
collate means if you had pages one, two, three, then it would stack them all together and then print stacks one, two, three and stack them all together. I'm printing all the same. If I was collating one page, it would stack them every other and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and print one. So I'll click print and that'll get going. So now, walk over here to the printer. Uh-oh, bad news bears, it doesn't like something. That's what the red line means. So you can come here to the control panel. That does not like my paperweight. So I have apparently set it up wrong. So I'm gonna troubleshoot that and I'll get it printed. All right, the paperweight was the issue. And it looks good. So now I just need to print 600 of them. So it's printing here, I'm doing 100 copies. I wanted to time how long it was. Apparently, I guess I don't need to because I can use the timer of the phone. And this is supposed to do 65 pages per minute. So this should take about a minute and a half. We're currently at 50 seconds in. So one minute and 30 seconds right now. So 100 pages. Now I just need to get the padding machine so that I can, I don't even know where to put these, so that I can turn them into notepads. So now I gotta print 500 more. So it should be too bad. All right guys, another cool thing I found out from the control panel all the stuff that's in my Fire 8 controller on my computer, it stores that. So I can actually pull this up where I needed to print basically six sets of these hundred. I can pull up the print jobs here and just tell it to print again without having to go to the computer. So I can see when it's actively printing, the printer is printing. And so when it's done, it will be imprinted and I can tell it to print again. So. Pretty sweet. This is super exciting. I'm way excited. Looks like it's almost done here. Oh, it just finished. So I'm actually gonna pull up the counter here. I wanted to make sure that I printed it right. And I did. So if we look at this, this machine is used, so don't freak out when you see almost four million copies. We can see that my black and white prints used to be the 95971, and now it is 96074. So why it has three more, I don't know. I'll definitely have to keep track of that and see what's going on, but I'll keep it posted. All right, guys. All 600 are done. Now I just need to buy some chipboard, some padding compound, and the patter so that I can get them completed and delivered to the customer. Should be a fairly nice job. And normally I'd be outsourcing this, so a lot more money to my pocket for getting this done for them. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna get into the office now and do some design work. Bob is coming over, we gotta get some vinyl cut for him they're really big vinyl decals they're going to go on the side of a box truck so they are 50 inches wide by 100 inches long we got to get two of those done and then two other graphics that are the same length then only like a foot wide so super excited to get everything going hopefully this means more production and more goal hitting so that things can progress and move on and i can work even more hours for one job instead of two. So let's get going. All 
All right, print fam, it's 10 after two, two o'clock club. You can buy stickers at the link in the description. Remember guys, keep supporting Darren. Buy the two o'clock club stuff, um, check out my merch again. Um, we get 10% of that because he designed it. Um, however, you don't have to worry about the AirPods anymore because as of today, Thursday the 29th, Yo, what up? Dude, Darren just like was like, hey, thanks for adding my videos. Here's some AirPods. So, like, you know, you guys should support Darren. Darren's like the coolest guy ever. Darren's the coolest guy I know. Bob is still here. We just finished doing his, well, we finished printing his. So he had the stickers, as you probably saw in the time lapse. He had two of the giant graphics. So a total, they were what, 100 inches long? Yes, 200 inches long and 208 inches Two 100-inch long. long and then two 108-inch long, but those were small so they could be stacked on each other. And then we threw in a bunch of free stickers for some customers because we're wasting space and it creates loyalty and happiness. And if they love them, then they'll order more and it'll be great. So... We are, that just finished, so we are gonna load it on the cutter, and then we're gonna chat a little bit while it does its thing about how to maybe organize this room and kind of what's going on. So, um, with the new printer, if you have any questions about it, let me know. I might not know the answer, but it might be helpful as far as what to ask the printer people. I do know they did move it today, so they shifted it, like I said, I think yesterday, the one or two feet over, so it's now level and perfect. Um, and they also, there's some problem with like some belt or feeder. And if you look at the print that I showed you yesterday, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there's some some lines right here. So they said replacing those belts should fix it. But I'm still gonna give those to the customer because I don't think they're gonna notice. So any questions might be helpful for me to ask them. Anything to add, Bob? It's too late. It's too late for Bob. Bob yesterday went to bed early. A little sissy pants. This is true. I was in bed at like 10. So. 10 o'clock club, that's my club. <laughs> we'll fix that. <laughs> so, okay, talk to you in a bit. All right, print fam, it is a little after three o'clock. Bob is just leaving. We got all his stuff taken care of. I'm gonna go to bed as well. Did I reach my goal? No. So, try again tomorrow, two days in a row is a record. Hopefully I can get three sometime, so. Have a good night. Thanks everyone. We'll see you later.